Hello and welcome to MusePen.com video tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about our Hover, Zoom and Rotate widget. Uh, this widget allows you to create uh, rollover animation onto your images placed in Adobe Muse. So if you have hover over those images, they would rotate or zoom in or zoom out. So you can go ahead and uh, do this very easily with the help of our uh, this widget. So let me just first of all show you what exactly I'm talking about. Uh, in Adobe Muse onto these images, I have applied this anim rollover animation using our Muse Pen Hover Zoom and Rotate widget. So if we go to preview and if I hover over this image, you would see that the image is rotating uh, clockwise direction and also zooming in. Similarly for this one. And if you look at the set below, it is set for zoom in and to rotate anti-clockwise. So here we go. Similarly, uh, you can uh, do it uh, with the images like uh, zoom out and clockwise rotation and vice versa for uh, zoom out and anti-clockwise rotation. You can uh, customize the settings in the widget to get any kind of uh, uh, combination out of these. So uh, the question is how do we do that? So let me create a new site and let me show you how we can go ahead and do this. So before we create a page and we show you how to do that, uh, you need to first of all download our widget. So to download this widget, you need you can uh, click onto the link below this video and uh, you can uh, download it from there or you can go to this link. You can note it down from here also. Musepen.com slash image hover slash 17 hover zoom and rotate dot html. Once you're there, just click on add to cart, download this widget and it would be saved onto your drive like this. Musepen underscore hover zoom rotate dot mule. You need to double click onto this Mule file and once you do that, it would be added to your library panel and you would be able to see it here. So let's go ahead and uh, quickly add an image so that I can show you how to create animation with these images. So go to file, place, find your file. I would like to apply it onto all these three images. So I would select them all and I would place them one by one next to each other. And then I'll show you how to do that. So first thing, to link our widget with an image is to give that image a graphic style. So let's say I want to have this image like this. So now I would go to graphics style panel. I would create a new graphics. You need to make sure that that image is selected and create a new graphic style. It will create a style name that. So for your convenience, you can change its name. Let's say I would name it one. So let's click on OK. For another image, I would create another graphic style in case I want to give it a different animation. If I want to give it the same animation, I can just click the image and I can select the one graphic style that I've already created that I would be linking with the widget. So for this image, I want another animation. So I would name it as uh, two. And for example purpose, I would leave it as one, the third one so that I can show you how does one widget work for one sort of a graphic style. So now the next step would be to place this uh, widget. So the widget is already there in our library panel. I would just drag it and would place it anywhere near the widget. Now, I would go to the options and the first option that ask is image graphic style. So we Right now, we would be applying animation to the first image that we have given name as a graphic style name as one. So let's tell our widget that uh, the image that you need to apply this animation is image with the graphics name one. Now, in the second part of transition settings, we can decide that any how long this animation would go. If you want to be a very quick animation, you can give it a smaller time like point four second or 0.2 second so let it be there like default for now transition delay what happens is like you do not want the animation to happen immediately let's say you want it to start after half a second so you can now change these value for now i'm keeping it as zero but you can change it there are transition type as ease linear ease in ease out and ease in and out you can uh, select them as per requirement you can just try each 
style with your animation and whichever you like you can go with that and the second and the most important setting is something that is going to give an animation uh, about zooming and about rotation so first section is image scaling that takes care of the zoom in or zoom out so right now it's 1.2 so it would zoom into the image with 120 percent and if you get some uh, smaller value less than one it would zoom out similarly for the rotation angle if you want the image to rotate clockwise you give it a positive rotation like 6 degree 10 degree and you can give it rotation up to uh, 1440 degree and if you want it to move anti-clockwise give it a negative value like this and it would move anti-clockwise so let's get it back to the default 6% and let me show you what would happen so right now we have the widget with the linking to the graphic style one so there are two images this one and this one that has the graphic style as one so now let's go ahead and try to preview it so if I hover over this image you would see that it would zoom in with the 120% and it would rotate clockwise if I do it over this image it would not because it has a class of 2 and we have no widget that is referring any animation for class of 2 so it would not animate but if I go back to this an animation would happen so you can use one widget for multiple images you just need to make sure that they have the graphic style similar or the same so in case I want to give this image an anti-clockwise zoom out rotation okay so let's go back to the page and create another instance of this widget and now I would give it a graphic style name as 2 this time I want to want it to zoom out so I would give it a negative like value less than 1 so let's say I give it 0.7 and I want it to rotate anti-clockwise so let's give it a negative value okay so let's go back to the preview mode and let's see how does this work so these are still the same that are referred to graphic style 1 and now look at the, let's roll over the image that has graphic style as 2 see it's moving it's rotating anti-clockwise and zooming out you can give really nice fast animation also let's say you want this to rotate at 720 degrees so let's see what happens so minus 720 and let's say I just want it to rotate I do not want any zooming so I will just make this value as 1 so now if we go ahead and preview it it gives a really nice <laughs> animation so you can utilize your uh, like uh, the options inside uh, this widget and you can create really nice rollover animations for your images controlling the zoom and the rotation of those images so this is all we have about this widget so you can go to this page and you can uh, simply click on add to card and you can download this widget free of cost and uh, you can use it so in case you have any doubt or any uh, bug related query about this widget feel free to send us an email on contact at newspan.com and we would be more than happy to get back to you so thank you for watching this video have a nice day ahead bye bye